What's up, Loxton here, and this is a Rally Hypershock frame getting a motor and paint. Buy original sticker. So you guys can see, see I had actually opened that up to fit it on his bike, real close to failing. So what we got here is my custom intake. I had to use some copper tubing, cut a piece, JB weld and solder it all together. Works actually pretty good. And on the inside, I did uh, do a little port matching and also curved it back down so the air flowed properly. As you can see there. I hardly fixed because of the paint.
All right, so this end was way too frayed. I actually ended up having to cut it and then cut the sheath as well to make it work. So what I'm gonna do is actually just lock these together these will sit, these are actually the original clamps, so they're gonna sit like this, because I got the double bar. It'll keep it high enough, don't fall. Above the, the bowl, to where it allows flow to still happen. All right, so I found these. These are some cheap plastic seat clamps, but I found that they fit right in here, just nice create a solidness so I'm gonna end up taking just this edge off maybe rounding this out a little bit just a little bit maybe opening up the hole I can't say I really wanted to do it, but I dented it. Look at that. Shortened. All right, so there she is all together. Looking fly in the sun. I didn't do too much videos of everything because we don't need it, but there she is, 80 cc's of beauty. You got the red, adding five horsepower. And then the sparkle, adds another 15, you gotta have it. Here it is, looking good. All right, here's the oil I actually use. Always, non-stop, this is it. This is one of my favorite things I did on accident, because I lost this. So if you actually stuck around to the end, I'd like to thank you. Hope you enjoyed my boring paint video. Um, if you did like it, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Y'all have a wonderful day. Loxton out.